Hello, hello, it's Oren Prunkin and today I want to talk to you about increasing your shopping cart value. Now, I uh, am in the middle of moving house and I went down to the hardware store, to Bunnings, and I had to buy some uh, stuff for this new house. I had to buy some, um, some putty, some gap filler, right? Uh, so that was my intent for going down to Bunnings. So I went down, found it, went through all of the um, painting aisles and made my way to getting what I want. And then I went to the checkout and at the checkout I looked to my right and there was a pack of three clear packing tape. And it was five bucks. And I grabbed it and then put it through with my with my order, right? So my order was a $12 pack of polyfiller putty. And so the whole purchase came to $17. And and you're probably asking, why do I need packing tape? It's not necessarily, it's not just for the move, I beg your pardon. I also play ice hockey and uh, my ice hockey pads, my leg pads, my leg and shin pads are so old uh, <laughs> that all of the elastic and strapping for it has now completely disintegrated. So these things don't even sit on my legs correctly. So I've got to, uh, when I pull my pads on and then I pull my uniform over the top, I've actually got to use clear packing tape um, to strap them to my legs, to hold them to my legs. So this packing tape, I just go through tons of it um, uh, over the years. And I probably should just go buy uh, new shin pads uh, and save the environment, but uh, this is the situation I'm in. So the packing tape that I purchased that I didn't intend on buying was actually for ice hockey, not the moving, which is really ironic. So anyway, I get back in the car and I've got a friend who is, um, helping me in the move and one of the things that I'm uh, asking them to do is just to you know pack up furniture and help me get them into a truck and then move into the new place and I'm just buying him a carton of beer to say thanks so I go to the local bottle shop and I get his favorite beers which are Peronis and when I get to the checkout uh, the register uh, operator says to me, do you want any one of uh, these beers? You've got Peronis already. Uh, there's some Peroni low um, carb Peronis, mid strengths only, but they're only 10 bucks. So um, I'm just trying to do the maths on the top, uh, off the top of my head. So it's about 25, 20 to 25% cheaper um, buying a six pack. Um, if you, as opposed to buying a carton, but also if you bought the six pack version in the full strength, it would have been half the price. So literally they're getting rid of this stock. And I said, yep, $10 uh, for this extra car, um, six pack of Prony, no problem. Don't even care if they're mid strength. Um, it's probably pretty cool that they are low carbs as well. So I then purchased that. So I went in for the original purchase of a carton of Peronis and I got another six pack of Peronis for half the price of what they would normally be and about 25% off if I had purchased it in the carton version. Now, why do I tell you these two stories? Well, first off, uh, both of the stores I went to in the same day uh, did um, this same thing. They did the upsell, but it's a very specific type of upsell that um, increased my shopping cart value and it is called the impulse uh, the impulse purchase or the order bump so you see this all the time particularly in physical uh, and retail outlets but it also can definitely happen online so it's not just an offline uh, sales um, a sales tool but it is the impulse purchase or the impulse buy or the uh, order bump so basically how it works is Everyone goes into a shop, both online or offline, to purchase what they want. They've got buyer intent, they go in, purchase and, uh, and, sorry, and grab what they want. But then when they're getting their credit card out, there is another purchase right at checkout that um, increases the order size. Um, you know, so in terms of Bunnings, that will increase the order size uh, by another 50%. And then at the bottle shop, that increased the order size by 25%. So they added an extra 50% and an extra 25% off me by just having this offer. Now those offers were low price relative. So it doesn't even need to be low price in general, but low price in relative to what the original purchase was. That makes it an, uh, like a, a really easy yes for me to not even think or not even have any buyer's, uh, buyer's remorse. 
easy yes for me to say and uh, it is a related or complementary product to what I was originally purchasing. You're in a hardware store. Now this is a bit more uh, of a stretch to find the complementary um, aspect of it, but still hardware store, they're doing a um, hardware upsell in terms of an impulse buy, but definitely at the bottle shop, they are doing a complementary product. You like Peronis? We've got Peronis here, um, a different version of it. And that was, you know, an amazing, if I was to replicate it elsewhere, that'd be an amazing um, impulse buy because it's so related. Now the advantage for you, so it's a definitely um, an advantage for the consumer and the purchaser. I definitely got what I wanted out of that. Not only did I get what I originally wanted to purchase, but I got a new um, product that I wasn't thinking about, was, but was very useful for me. And I didn't actually have to pay that much extra. Now as a seller, this is incredibly um, useful for you as well. Now, obviously you can tell you're making extra revenue and that's why um, I'm talking about how to increase your shopping um, cart size. So you're making extra revenue, but you are also doing another thing is two of them, particularly in this, um, these two examples. So the first one, the packing tape, really high margin. All that is um, made of is plastic with a bit of um, adhesive on one side. Super high margin for them, uh, so they're making a lot of profit. I'm not sure what the profit margins for polyfiller are, but they are making high margin on that product. So it's really easy money, they didn't need to acquire me as a customer. And then finally, on the bottle shop, um, they're getting rid of stock. So they've got all of this stock, and they were really explicit with that. They said the reason why they're selling these off is they're getting rid of that stock. So they've got this old stock that they couldn't move, and again, it is still the high margin for them because otherwise, if they never got rid of it, they'd have to um, have to uh, destroy that stock. So again, it's high margin even if they're getting rid of it. So um, in both cases, it's just really good profit for them in a scenario and situation where they would normally not get it. So what I want you to think about with this and these two different experiences that happened to me, and it happens all the time, and I just wanted to talk about it because it happened back to back to me um, today. And I did a purchase of two impulse buys um, that, what can you um, look at within your business that is a complementary product or service to the original product that they never, the, um, the prospect didn't actually think they were gonna have, but would be useful to them? Uh, to bump up the amount of extra revenue and extra profit, more importantly, for your business. So you're getting something out of it as a business owner, but also your customers are getting something also useful um, out of it as well. So I really want you to think about how that could apply to what you are currently doing. Uh, I want you to go out and implement it. And like I always say, uh, let me know how you go with it and what the results were because I, uh, results were because I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, until the next time we talk, I hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye. Thanks for listening. And if you like what was on here and want more, please go to orenprunken.com.